Hello, good evening, good morning, or whatever timeline there is at your whatever time you're watching this video, welcome. And today I will be tackling two two main issues that I have been requested both in the forums and in the YouTube comments. One is about installing mods on Linux Mint and the other is addressing the lag issues which is still existent in 0 AB even in alpha 22 with all the improvements things like that still in alpha phase so the first one is installing mods on Linux Mint okay Linux Mint I'm not sure about other distros but this is how I install the Delenta S mod for example on Linux Mint on how to download this mod, I'll just link you to Alex's video on how to download it. He has a tutorial on how to install mods on Windows, but for me, it's for Linux Mint. Okay, so this is the downloaded file, and we have to extract the folder. Okay, so let's just make sure that you are opening it with the archive manager, since we are in a certain distro, right? And extract. The files in our downloads folder and oh I have to wait that <laughs> sorry guys so before this say this guy uh, will be done extracting all the files this will be our main folder for the mod we will okay that's done we will be uh, pasting this whole folder which has all the mod files into a certain directory the 0 ad mods directory now where can we find that in linux mint now first we have to right click this one and cut because we will be moving it and find our 0 ad directory locals file now your file manager might be looking a little bit different than mine it might be in a text format like this or you might have this one now for this format it's a little bit easier if you can navigate your way through what i will be doing for now but in my example i will be using the gui mode the i don't know what kind of mode i think it's called breadcrumbs entry and okay I'm not sure what that's called but we but what we want is our user folder to find first okay where can that be found it's in the, in the text format it's slash home slash and then your username that is our main folder that we will be looking for so if it was in this format this is slash home sl slash your username that's your main location so let's go there and as you can see here the, we have our basic folders our main folder that we will be clicking on is hidden so how do we unhide those files in our file manager named i think it's nemo yes it's nemo we have to click on view and show our hidden files Control h for the shortcut keys and we will be looking at this folder called dot local okay as you can see that all the hidden folders and files are uh, actually begin with the with the dot that's how you f hide files in linux now uh, on all linux distros i think okay so let's click on that local share the only folder that we have here for now it's in there and the 0 ad folder work for our local 0 ad files and this is the folder we will be looking for the mods folder inside the mods folder i have already have the delenda s folder pasted in there but if you want to make your own mods in which i was also requested to make a tutorial on now i'm going to address it now i have very little experience in modding mod installing maybe good but making mods no so if ever i'm going to make a tutorial i have to at least make sure that i am prepared for it i don't want to be too rambly on, on things well, okay so we have pasted the folder delenda s22 
in our mods folder 080 local files by the way this is what it looks like in our text in the text format so slash home slash your username slash the local slash share slash 080 slash mods and this is the whole mod folder this is where you will be installing all your mod folders if ever you want to create one so how do we act activate it now in 0 AD okay we will be enabling it in our main folder so open your game tools and options I think and mod selection it's on the end of the end and here we are the list of the mods will be listed I think in here and the activated mods are in here so that we have to enable or activate the mod for us to use it so we cannot actually disable this I think because it's the main game and we will be activating only a mod for it so we will select the land I asked if we install one more mod there's a complete list in that and enable that and then start the mod and this is the land I asked kind of looks different but sounds the same but this is the st okay so so far we're in here let's just address the the ways I handle with the lag first one of my suggestions was that oh sorry about that <laughs> kind of messed up we're back with the main mod but okay so let's go to tools options options and one way to reduce the lag is to turn down all the graphic settings that's the most basic way of handling the lag so you, you will be reducing much of the shadow effects it's going the game is going to look ugly but at least you can play it smoothly and the other solution i have is in the matches uh, matches settings down here in more options try to keep the population cap low i try to keep it that at 300 at least although i think my games usually last for 200 to 150 because every time i play the ai you can see my early videos rarely do i use more than 50 units to attack certain uh yeah i, I just use about 50 or less when attacking the ai usually 10 maybe and just keep the population low and every time and every time the enemy attacks with a lot of things more than 100 population units i tend to turtle up my strategy wait for the pop population of the enemy to drop and then game goes smoothly again and then it's time for me to attack so those are the things aside from waiting for the the updates for them What do you call him? Yeah, making things smoother. The making the game uh, less resource hungry when it comes to pathfinding issues and stuff like that. It's about uh, reducing the graphics settings or keeping your population games low. That means you will be mostly playing one on one on population two hundred max. Okay, so. That's my tutorial on installing mods and uh, trying to reduce the lag. And if you guys have another request, I might be happy to make a video about it. But for now, see you guys next time.